So as you can see, I'm uh, in the forest today. Uh, so in a forest near a little village called Rurum, and uh, it's a really dense uh, forest. There's a river running through it. There's some waterfalls. It's very pretty, it's particularly this time of year when the leaves have just started to come out and uh, the tourists have yet to arrive. Anyway, so the point of the point of this lesson today in this series of how to grow as a photographer was uh, connecting to the landscape and, and feeling the landscape. Um, and it's really important. These are things that, you know, when you're searching YouTube for beginner's guides to photography and so on, you're going to get bombarded with settings. And, and, and I think that people can become a little bit over obsessed with settings because, yeah, they're important. It's important to know how the camera works and it's important to know the exposure triangle and so on. But, uh, not as important as understanding the landscape and why you're there. You have to start asking questions that uh, you have to start asking questions that are, are, are going to resonate with yourself uh, in a in a way that um, you can get to know the landscape you're in. And and, and so the crunch today is uh, go to the go to the landscape and take time to understand it, to to look and see what's going on around you. Uh, you know, don't take the camera necessarily because the camera is a disconnect. It's definitely going to kind of uh, muddy the waters and confuse what you're doing because then the focus will become the camera and the picture and coming home to look on Lightroom and you know these magical pictures. And if you do it that way, guys, I think you're going to be really disappointed. I don't think you're going to come home with something that's going to live with you for very long. Uh, I think you have to leave the camera in the car. Or put it down and, and go for a, a walk uh, and then come back and uh, and kind of then look at the camera and uh, look at the camera in a different way um, using that time in the landscape just to sit and stare into space uh, watch how the water flows through a stream watch how it meanders in and out of the rocks um, what kind you know how fast does the water flow um, listening to the birds and the trees you know these things you know i used to think it was so pretentious when people say said you know you have to go and you have to make a connection with the landscape and you know it sounds like uh yeah it, it, it doesn't sound quite right particularly if you're if you're not you know if you're if you're not understanding what that means uh and i actually do understand what it means having sort of almost sort of had a you know like sly smile when people would say that but it's true connecting and feeling the landscape is going to help you uh, think more in more depth as to why you're there why you're taking the photograph that you might have in mind uh, and I think you're gonna come home with a much better picture uh, it certainly will have the thought through it and you know what am I using in the foreground what kind of focal length am I going to use it, it, these things are far more important than settings you know and when you search YouTube for landscape photography tutorials or beginner's guide to landscape photographs, uh, photography, it's going to come up with uh, settings and, uh, and um, frankly I think that's the wrong question. Uh, I think you, uh, you, you, in order to grow as a photographer, why are you there? That is a, that is a really important question. What is it about this space, this, this area that I, I like? Why am I coming here? Um, what do I want to take home with me in terms of a composition or, or a photograph in the bag? Uh, and, and that's a question that, that, that is going to make you ask many more questions. And these are, these are answers you have to find for yourself. And the way to do that is to spend time in the landscape and understand it. Uh, so much of a forest is chaotic and you have to uh, sort of fight through the chaos. I'm only using... Uh, I'm only using the forest is an example because I'm right here. Uh, but if you're at the seascape, it's the same. It's like, how am I going to find a foreground? Do I need a foreground? Probably. But if you're using a long lens, maybe you want to minimalize the subject. Maybe you want to uh, capture the water uh, moving around stones or rocks. Or, um, or or maybe you want to take the movement out of the water by using, uh, you know, using a... a an ND filter or something like this you know these are these are all questions that you can ask yourself at the seaside as well uh, far more important questions than uh, than settings I'm not I'm not um, 
I'm not saying settings aren't important, they are, um, but I'm trying to guide you in a way that, because I'm self-taught, and um, when I didn't understand um, how the exposure triangle worked, which thankfully I do now, um, but that in itself was a barrier to getting out and enjoying the outdoors. Um, so I do it in reverse, go and enjoy the outdoors and the and the, the scenery and the landscape and uh, feel the land, connect with it uh, in any weather. Uh, an understanding of the landscape is going to make you so much better a photographer. Uh, no question about it, nothing pretentious about it, it's a fact. Uh, when I was teaching tennis, uh, I've used tennis analogies because that's been, that was my career for 30 years before I'm, I became a landscape photographer is that, uh, you know, when you said to students, you know, you have to feel the ball, you know, they're sort of like touching the ball and, you know, like, uh, you know, what the devil's this guy talking about? And I think, yeah, but you have to learn to feel the ball. You have to understand the situation you are in a tennis court. If you're competing, you have to know, you have to problem solve. It's solving the problems that you're in at the time. There's nobody there to help you. Uh, and in the landscape, it's exactly the same. Uh, nobody's going to guide you. Um, you're just gonna you're just gonna fail uh, unless you look at the landscape the right way. And the point of this lesson is uh, spend time in the landscape, and feel it, and connect with it. Um, you're gonna grow as a photographer. It's very very important, and I hope uh, I hope that's something that um, you can take away. And please leave some feedback under underneath here. You know, uh, press that button. Let me know whether this kind of uh, information is, is good for you. And it's not because I know better than anybody else, I, I, I most certainly don't. It's because this is what was important to me and, and I'm sure it's the right way forward. Um, so guys, you get out there and you enjoy the landscape. And if you're a beginner, please let me know if it's helpful. And if you're an experienced photographer, feel free to, uh, to point out the error of my ways or whatever. But uh, yeah, until the next lesson or until the next video, uh, have a great uh, have a great week and let's talk soon bye for now